Hello, my soul tribe. Um, I am Celeste TT Tarot. Welcome to my channel. And I'm doing a full moon checkup. So we are going to go with uh, Scorpio now. Uh, I am going to read, pull three cards from my Elemental Oracle spread, three cards from my Moonology Oracle spread, and then three cards from my Light Seers Tarot spread as a full moon checkup. So how are my Scorpios doing out there? And since the spirit is kind, got a Yahweh. Messages from my Scorpios, please. Messages from my Scorpios, please. If my Scorpios are doing good out there. Just had a full moon in Leo, so messages from my Scorpios, please. Okay. Now we're going to pull from the analogy and the spirit of my guide. Any messages for my Scorpios out there? Scorpios, full moon checkup. One more shuffle. Okay, there we go. This is it. But not least, we're going to get the clarification cards from my Scorpios out there. Clarification cards. Messages from my Scorpios, please. Scorpios, all right. Scorpios, the overall energy you guys have is card number six, and that's light in the sun. So the elemental oracle for card number six, and you are the very first sign, Scorpios, to get that. So ow, and um, that's fire energy. So um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, mainly Leo. So you could be dealing with uh, Leo. I have Leo in your chart. Um, we have, be grateful for what you have right now. Every day brings new possibilities and opportunities. Concentrate on building your vitality and health. Shine a strong light upon the dark corners. Honesty and transparency are vital at this time. So Scorpios, if you're not being honest with yourself or if you're not being transparent, um, the universe is tasking you with being honest and transparent because it's vital. Be grateful for what you have right now scorpios okay and i am um, the clarification for that for the moonology overall is it's time to take action so it might be time to take action to be honest and transparent um new moon in aries so um i am not very i'm not aware of the actual moon cycle but if you want you can leave that in the comment section what is this new moon in Aries? Uh, when is the next day for 2022? Whenever that is, it might be um, when the universe will let you know it's time to take action. But for right now, um, focus on your light, your vitality, um, and be honest and transparent with yourself um, because the universe will let you know when it's time to take action. And when we talk about taking action, we have here the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is like generational wealth, abundance, Earth energy, uh, uh, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, and Taurus energy, family. Um, so I'm going to read from the Light Seers Tarot Guidebook for Ten of Pentacles just to give you some clarification on what the universe might want you to take action on and being honest and being thankful for right now. So the Ten of Pentacles, I am successful and I share my wealth with those I love, Okay. And if you're on your light seer side, Scorpios, then it talks about spiritual and material abundance, community, generosity, wealth and prosperity, building a legacy. If you're on your shadow side, however, it says chasing luxury and status, financial loss, negative energy around wealth. So the universe is guiding you when it comes to this. If this is your ultimate goal, Scorpios, the universe is guiding you and would tell you when it's time to take action or this date 
might be a significant date for you. So please watch the signs um, whenever someone can put in what exact date the new moon in Aries will be for 2022. The first card we have is Purity, which is Ice. And that is card number 33. And for Purity, it says... And I believe who had this, I want to say Libra just had this as well as possibly, can't think of the other side. So you could be dealing with a Libra, I have Libra in your chart. The way forward is clear, see nature in its purity. Let it comfort you and strip away what is unnecessary. Freeze out what is not a benefit to you at this time. When you look at things clearly, there will be purity to the situation. So, um, this is water energy, which is your energy, Scorpio, as well as Cancer and Pisces. So, you could be dealing with one or have one in your chart. When it comes to purity, bringing purity to the situation, knowing when the way forward is clear. Your dreams need a practical plan. So, it says new moon, uh, full moon, I'm sorry, in Taurus. So, whenever that time frame is, that can be when it's time to sit down and make a practical plan. When it comes to your dreams and goals, um, because once again, that purity card, um, the eyes, the way forward is clear. So you know what needs to be done. Um, you know, uh, it's going to be time to strip out what's unnecessary and focus. And um, that could be, uh, we have the nine of pentacles here, focusing on your work, your career. You need a practical plan to be financial, reach your financial goals, to be financially independent, um, possibly if it. If it has to do with love, being single, it's my single card, uh, financial independence. And I'm going to read it from the guidebook um, to give you additional clarification. It says, I enjoy the bliss and abundance that I have sown. So if you're in your light seer, energy, spiritual and material satisfaction, personal achievement, inner peace, milestones met and celebrated, the energy of a successful harvest, contentment if you're on the shadow side however and this is what you need to be wary of a need to elevate your relationship evaluate your relationship with work can indicate material success while feeling alone a workaholic the realization that money alone will never be enough financial delays the pressure to appear more successful than you are so avoid those strip out that mindset that mentality because it's unnecessary for you scorpio you got the ten of pentacles as the overall okay so you're gonna go from the nine to the ten just calm down about it okay right now we also have the second card 28 uh music so joy so the elemental oracle says for music um when it comes to joy that was card 28 it says, use music to change your mood. Music raises your vibration, create ways you can express yourself more fully. Move your body through dance. Allow your body to heal through movement. Surround yourself with music to heal. It can be the music of nature, natural soundscapes, or human-generated music. And music for joy is air element. So that is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with one. I have that somewhere in your chart. So the universe is telling you to listen to music. So that's when I said calm down. Okay, listen to some music. The universe is telling you to calm down. You're getting there. You're just jumping ahead of the game. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. So um, because we talked about music here, which was air element. Um, we're, also, we're talking about water. Uh, a proposed issue reaches resolution so this is full moon in cancer you could be dealing with one i have one in your chart so use music for the time being to heighten your vibration because something's gonna reach a resolution uh if it's fine if it's career wise scorpio it's good you're you're getting there you go from the nine to the ten overall could be just your mindset that's getting in your way and um, the clarification card for that is the card number 15, Major Arcana, the Devil, which is a Capricorn card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. So I'm going to read that from the guidebook as clarification as to what issues could be in your going on in your life that is preventing you from going from this 9 to 10. Because the Devil is right in the middle between that, um, if you see here on the spread. So because the Devil is right in between... Let's uh, get you some clarification on how 
you can get from that nine to the ten. In the darkness, I am free to heal everything. So use music to heighten your vibration and heal Scorpios because a personal issue will reach resolution. So if you're in your life here, energy, vices, the grip of addiction, a need for liberation, healthy versus unhealthy sexuality, materialism, the healing found in darkness, delving into your shadow self, being trapped in your own stories, manipulation, lying to yourself, temptation. Okay, it could also talk about obsession. Um, if you're on the shadow side, it's time for you to release. So that means if this was in reverse, then you would be releasing freedom from addiction on the cusp of a breakthrough, liberation, not wanting to see your own role in negative circumstance, realizing that you are giving your power away, feeling helpless, breaking the chains, okay? So break whatever chains are holding you back, whatever addictions, toxicity, obsessions, um, because a personal issue will reach resolution, okay? You will be successful, okay, Scorpios? And then the last card in the spur we have is card number five, the equator to make equal for the elemental oracle spread. So for card number five, we have, and you are the first sign to get this and that light. So, okay, Scorpios, and fire energy, um, which is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You could be dealing with one or have one in your chart. We also had a new moon in Aries, so it could definitely be an Aries. To make equal, find the balance in your life. Equality among people is a worthy goal. You are worth it. Do not compare yourself to others as this is a useless task that only leads to unhappiness. There can be a happy medium. There doesn't have to be an extreme reaction all the time. Like I said, calm down, Scorpios, okay? You don't have to go to the, to the extreme that Scorpios can do and end it all. And it says, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So whenever the North Node pops up, it pops up in the moon cycle. Someone knows when the North Node is going to be popping up. Um, this is telling you to step out of your comfort zone. If you have your North Node in Scorpio, um, this is telling you to step out of your comfort zone and make things equal. There doesn't have to be an extreme. There's a happy medium. Equality is a worthy goal. You don't need to compare yourself to anyone. And the clarification for that, we have a five of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy, water energy, your energy. So you're having some regrets and some losses here. So I'm going to read the five of cups um, from the guidebook just to give you some clarification on it. And I love, I'm loving, absolutely loving this guidebook for my Scorpios. Okay, it says here, my tender heart helps me navigate toward my bright future. So as you can see, if you look here, even on the spread, this card goes, comes after you release the toxicity and obsessions, your tender heart helps you navigate towards your bright future, which is that 10 of Pentacles, 